Hello my veggieins, EB the original master here and new camera angle. Welcome back to the second bonus video for the VeggieTales reviews. Don't worry you guys, VeggieTales reviews aren't canceled. I still have yet to review King George and the Ducky, which will be out probably later in June. But today we are here to take a look at the 1992 VeggieTales Take 38 promotion video which was a promotion for VeggieTales back in 1992 and is pretty cool. So we're gonna take a look at that and give you guys my thoughts on it in a format of a review. But it's not actually a review, it's just a bonus video for a promotion take. But with that said, without further ado, let's begin. All right, VeggieTales promo, take 38. Okay, everything wrong here. Why does the director seems bored out of his mind? He's over here saying, VeggieTales promo, take 38. Like, dude, you're promoting a new show and he doesn't seem to care about it. Well, I guess that's how it's gonna be then. Okay, get this. Oh God, uh, Bob, can you like not stretch your face that close to the camera, please? And what's up with the humming in the background? Why we? Why does Bob have to hire a choir to hum Battle of the Republic? Like, I know this is a Christian series, but this is kind of creepy for 1992 standards. All right, so Bob is telling the viewers about the VeggieTales and what the series is about, and already it takes an L because listen to what Bob says in this one line. All the citizens in the kitchen come together. Fruits, vegetables, small kitchen appliances. Regardless of species, color, or brand name, they all come together with one purpose. And that purpose... Hey, Bob! Have, have you seen my plastic wind-up lobster? Oh, yeah, I remember it now. Before Where's Got When I'm Scared in 1993, the very first episode of VeggieTales, Larry's voice wasn't all derpy. Instead, it was all high-pitched in this promotion take here. It's kind of weird, though. Not now. Man, I'm telling you, man, Bob's not giving any of Larry's crap. He's like, uh, not now. Like, <laughs> okay, Bob, I guess you don't seem to care about your friend Larry over here, right? Hey, I don't care either. Oh, yeah, by the way, the L that I that I wanted to tell you that, um, um, Bob also hires fruits to come along in the show. Then why can't you just call it fruit and veggie tails? Why you have to just call it, like, fruits aren't vegetables, though. Yeah, that was the L that I was trying to trying to point out, but since Larry interrupted Bob's speech, I can't get to that scene yet. <clears throat> who was that clearing their throat in the background? Was that one of the choir members who was humming Battle Hymn of the Republic? Boy! That purpose is to create the most fantastic Christian children's series anyone has ever imagined. A show bursting with positive values, filled with lighthearted stories, songs, and educational materials. All right, Bob, pause right there. Educational materials. If you want to do that, then it's these kids about healthy habits, like eating your vegetables and, and your fruits. Do that instead than hosting Christianity. Like, come on now, we don't need talking vegetables telling us about religion. Like, we don't. Veggie Tales! Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Ow. Okay, what just happened? Delirry got smacked in the face or something? Just a minute, not so fast. Boy, what is up with Archibald's voice? He sounds nothing like him. What? Is it because, oh, it's the promotion take? Did Phil Fisher even voice Archibald in that scene, or did he hire somebody else? Oh my god, his voice is jacked up. Before this nonsense goes any further, I just want everyone to know that I was against it from the start. Isn't that right, dear? That's right, he was! Okay, it's pretty darn obvious that freaking Junior's mom here is voiced by a man. Like, boy, what were they thinking? Yeah, when that pickle came up to me, it's, I... It's a cucumber, dude. Oh, yes, whatever. Oh, my God. I just love this promo so much. First, Bob not giving a crap. Now, Archibald's not giving a crap. None of these characters not seem to care. Like, it's like whenever they get interrupted, they always get angry and say, yeah, whatever. Like, it's so funny. Like, this is a good promotion take. I'm sorry, you guys. VeggieTales is, like, by far the most funniest Christian or whatever kids show it is out there because the characters... Some of them just don't seem to care. And I love it. I love it. I so do love it. As I was saying, that cucumber came up to me and asked me what I thought we should do this weekend. Oh, I suggested a Caesar salad might be nice. We hadn't done one of those in a while. Uh, Archibald, that does not look like Caesar salad. That looks like barf. But no, they decided to do a television show and- Um, Archibald, VeggieTales technically isn't a television show. It's basically a straight or direct-to-DVD slash VHS series. 
Because if it was a television show, I don't know, a, a TV network would probably brought it up or something, or this, or they're promoting this. But yeah, you're taking another L, my guy. VeggieTales is not a television series. It's, it's a direct to VHS slash DVD series. Because all the episodes of VeggieTales came out on DVD and VHS. Case closed. I mean... You put vegetables in salads, you use them as side dishes. Occasionally you might use them as an aesthetically pleasing garnish, but you never, never put vegetables on television. It is simply not done. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like the idea. And that was Take 38 VeggieTales promo. What I have to say about it, it is pure gold. 10 out of 10. I love it. Good promotion, good acting, good choreography, good everything. Yeah, the CGI is kind of dated since it's 2018, but for 1992 standard, it was pretty good for his time. Well, hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on the VeggieTales Take 38 promo. I'll see you guys next time on my review. Finally, on King George and the Ducky from VeggieTales, obviously. So with that said, God made you special and he loves you very much. Goodbye.